was your yeah. summer? It was great. Yeah. Um, went back to Sweden. Oh, um, great. So for the past 12 years, uh, go back to Sweden, see my friends, family, uh, people that I don't see for almost 10 months. So it's nice to go back there and relax a little bit before and, I come and back to New York. And you went back and had a successful uh, gold medal winning, didn't you? Yeah, so, well, it was a... <laughs> thank you. Well, the season ended uh, too fast in New York. Mm. Um, this was in May. Uh, I decided to go back and play for Team Sweden with my twin brother. So there's a shot uh, of you guys so My brother was uh, the captain for Team Sweden. We hadn't played together for 12 years. So I went back there and we uh, were able to win the world championships together. So, so yeah, it was amazing. It was, um, uh, so you grew up. You grew up playing together and then not yeah, for 12 years up. and then you won. So, you know, growing up as a twin, we did everything together. We yeah. spent hours and hours on the street, on the lake, back home playing together. and. I think for us it started with with a dream of playing for our country and mm. win something together. So to stand there on the blue line, uh, looking at each other, see the flag go up, and, and with the gold medal, it, it was something I'll never forget. At my kids' school, I always felt sorry for the hockey moms because <laughs> they, tr you know, they have to lug when the kids are little and they can't carry their own equipment. <laughs> yeah. the, the moms gear. are lugging this equipment everywhere. Yeah. Did your mom have to lug? Twice the amount of equipment? Uh, well, my dad helped. Your dad helped. Okay, my dad good. helped, okay, but good. I tell every hockey parent, it's a commitment. It yes. really is. You know, carrying the equipment, driving them to practice, and uh, I think both me and my brother, we understand that we, we would never be here today if, mm. if it wasn't for our parents. The, right. the commitment they had, and they really wanted to help us and, and support us, and that support is key. Now, the season here starts next month, so in New York, are you guys already practicing? So we're skating on our own, no coaches right now. Uh, training camp starts uh, the 14th, and uh, we'll have a few days of testing and practices, and then we start a couple preseason games, and then in October, we're, we're back at it. Do you skate every day? Uh, almost, now. Really? Uh, during the summer, you take some time off. You do different things. Uh, play a lot of tennis. I love mm. tennis. Uh, but then in August, you start skating and then move around more and work on your timing and stuff. And then in September, training camp starts. Now, you're going to be skating against Buffalo outside on New Year's Day. Okay, now, wh that wh sounds what's, like a lot yeah. of fun. <laughs> what's it like to play hockey outside versus. Well, you know, I grew up playing outside. You so did. It, it's so you're kind used of to it. going back in time a little bit, except now it's going to be 50,000 watching you <laughs> instead of right. your mom or your dad. But. Um, the big change, I think, is the lighting. When you play indoors, you have the lights coming straight, straight down, down, so there's yeah. no shadows. When you play out, outside, so the sun's moving. you right. get the baseball lights, and, and it's coming more from the side, so you right. get more shadows. But it's a great experience. A couple of years ago, we played at Yankee Stadium. And, and, uh, it sounds cold, it was I'm awesome. not going to lie. It, it was a little really cold, cold, but it was awesome. I, I'm, I'm, I look forward to it.